guys. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to start off this video just because it's been way long overdue since I have made a video. Maybe years, two years. But I just wanted to come back and share a couple of things and I'll just get right into it. So this video is basically about my absolute favorite eyeshadow palettes. Um, just because a lot of people have been asking me to recommend certain palettes, I thought I would just kind of put it all together in this video. So I'm going to start off with an old, old favorite. Many of you guys are probably familiar with this, for sure. And that is my the first Naked palette here. So this is Urban Decay, and what it's nice is a very kind of bronze-hued palette. So you can't go wrong with this. It's really nice kind of look I think for the summer especially you can wear it definitely all season but um, you can't go wrong with this this is a nice classic palette that I think everyone should at least um, next a palette that I feel like I have been reaching for every single day a good everyday palette um, in nursing I do wear makeup every day um, I do wear neutrals and the palette I have been using is this one here so this is my low rack palette um, my Sephora doesn't have Lorac anymore, so I'm really glad that I picked this up. This is the unzipped one, and I have been using this every single day. Um, so this is the palette there. So you can tell the ones I've been abusing are these two here, um, Undiscovered and Unreal, and I also love Unattainable. This one right here, very nice taupe bronzy color and sometimes I use this one here it's kind of like a rosy brown this one's called unbelievable so I absolutely absolutely love this I recommend this to all you guys who love neutrals it's a perfect eyeshadow palette for neutral lovers another one that I fell in love with and I used it a lot last year even till this year but I kind of gave it a break um, is this one from Smashbox this one is this really cute compact palette and it's in the one called Admire Me. I think this is one that was in the Unlimited Edition one, but it's really gorgeous. So it's cute. You have a little flap here. Lift it up. And then you have these beautiful colors, which I have abused a lot as well. So this one here is a perfect color for the crease. I use this one for the crease all the time. And then... I use this one sometimes, it's just kind of too frosty at times or shimmery. Um, this is like a matte color and then this champagne color is gorgeous. I use this for all over the lid. It's really pretty for all over the lid. So you can get a good look there. And you can use every single color from this palette for one eye look and it looks gorgeous. It just puts it all together. So this one is called Admire Me. Another one that's really good. These are really repetitive because it's all neutrals. I haven't been using any color eyeshadows in quite a while, ever since I've been working um, as a nurse, but I still have to wear my makeup, whatever. So this one here is from Chanel. Very nice, basic, simple um, eyeshadow. Has all the basics that you need. Um, two colors, to be exact. But it's a contrast duo in Sable and... In Vaughn. I think that's how it is. So it's two colors and sometimes when I'm in an absolute rush I only use these two colors when I'm like I have no time to decide how to mix it. So it's a beautiful color like a nice neutral color like this and then the other one is kind of like um there's some gold in it like a goldy brown gold speckles so it's really really pretty um, it's super pigmented I made a mistake one time and I kind of dabbed it because lots of Chanel eyeshadows can be a little bit light and you kind of have to pack on a little bit but this one's definitely not it's very buttery I love that texture of eyeshadow next is you guys are probably really familiar with the Too Faced of course the natural eye palette I gotta love the natural eye palette this one's really pretty, Neutral Eyeshadow Collection. So I use this a lot as well. Oh. So it looks just like that. Really pretty. Um, the one I use is, I do love my mattes, 
but it's just so nice to use these colors on the lid and I use matte on my crease but these ones the push-up I love and honey pot it's a gorgeous gold it comes off a really nice gold color these ones I don't use too much it's a little bit too shimmery but I do use it a little bit just in the corner of my eye I don't kind of put it all over and then these colors are also very pigmented and I use it just in my crease so that's a good look there and I this is my most recent purchase so to be honest I haven't been hauling in a while I've been a little bit more modest with my makeup collection I did a huge kind of reduction but otherwise I this is my most recent um, makeup haul that I've done and it's my Naked 3 I am actually wearing it right now just to show you guys so it's very um, simple you can't really get a good color there but it's very neutral, of course. So what's nice about this, this is a rose-hued eyeshadow collection. You guys have probably seen this a million times. But here is the Naked 3 palette. It is gorgeous. So to be honest, I really am more drawn towards the second half. Or like the right side of the, of the palette. So you can... I, no, you can't tell. But what I used today was Nooner. I put that all over my crease, blended it out really good, and I put Trick as my all over. Where's Trick? Trick is this nice kind of champagne gold color. As you can tell, I really like those colors. And I like Trick. I put that all over my eyelid, and then in the crease, I put, or just a little bit on the rest of my eyelid, I put Liar. I don't like the name of the color, but it's there. And Factory. I put that on the outside. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Just because I'm, I'm kind of wearing a strong lip color. So I don't want to really overpower everything. So that's that. I really love it. I know it's been a really long time. But I will be catching up, making some more videos. Um, the next ones will be some more holiday videos. So anyways, um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, to some people I know who are probably watching me, I say hi. But I am always active on my Instagram. So my Instagram is the same name as my YouTube. So feel free to look for me there. So otherwise, bye guys.